in this video lecture i'm going to discuss how to how to connect mongodb with informatica power center so let's see all the steps so first here i'm going to open the command prompt and to uh, this place if i write uh, mongo so here you can see this all message that means mongo db cell mongo version 4.46 that already installed so first you need to install the mongodb okay next to uh, here let's uh, click on the no sql booster for mongodb so this place here you can see this is the local host and adam database department emp employees these are all collections and uh, here you can see there is uh, one user called adam and the password is the json so here this is the noSQL booster for mongodb now let's uh, open the power center repository now next uh, i'm going to move designer part so here power center designer this is so there is nothing there so first here let's uh, oh okay one more thing there is no any folder so i'm going to create the one folder first so here you can see folder option create giving the folder name sony click on ok ok now designer disconnect connect so here folder it's come there now next is let's go to the source so here so first uh, this is the source part so what i'm trying to do this all those things are disable now this is the source part and here let's go to source import from the database so mongodb is the no sql database click on this so here you can by default you can see this is informatica cassandra and uh, here in for example informatica mongodb dsn so i'm going to create the new obd odbc data source with mongodb so click on this triple dot after that click on this add button so by default here you can uh, scroll down so you can see different options are available so let's uh, search mongodb odbc driver click on this finish so give for data source name any meaningful name so here mongo db test giving so host to you can see from here host that is local host write local host and the port 27017 you can see from here so port is so uh, not displaying but it it's uh, 2710 27017 now database we need to see so here we have different database you can use admin config local so this all are system defined database and uh, that is a created database user created database that is adam so giving here adam so it's uh, optional you if you don't give it's no any problem but uh, let's give here yeah, adam and this two is our username additional server it's uh, optional if i click test connection it's uh, successful now if you want to give the username you can also give so username is the json okay So let's give for uh, username JSON. Now let's click on this test. It's okay, fine. So this all option here, this is the advanced option. You can also use, but to uh, not try. Right now it's not required. Click on OK. Click on OK. 
thereafter here click on this triple down uh, sorry drop down here you can see mongo db test it's come there now if you don't give username and uh, password it's fine if i click on the connect here some kind of message it's come there but no need to worry about this here this is the that i just connected here you can see this is the adam database inside department emp employees are there so department emp employees are there so let's uh, click on this select em employees and now click on o okay so here you can see all this the employees so here preview data if you want then you can okay leave this no need to uh, worry about this now next is so uh, let's uh, take the target so let's take the target import from the file the file is on the desktop let's uh, select all and uh, here I'm going to select the employees so now if I go here you can see MongoDB is successfully connected and uh, drag this one and here this is the target now here select this all and track there it's all connected now here after the next is so mapping uh, here this is the mapping and there after here when that all done we need to just uh, uh, save the mapping so here you can see it's a uh, valid so this is the first way we can easily connect uh, this mongodb inside uh, informatica power center